Hey guys, today we are going to do question on kinematics in which we will have both rotation as well as translation. So a point is given to us that is 7, 3, 1 and it is attached to the frame FNOA and it is subjected to the following transformations that is these transformations. What we have to do is we have to find the new coordinates relative to the reference frame. So it is a very simple question. So first of all we will write the formula that what we have to do. That is, first of all, we will find the new coordinates of P and the first thing that we have to do is, we have to rotate it by 90 degree across the Z axis. So, we will write Z 90. Now, we will have now the second thing is that we have to rotate the P coordinate about the Y axis. So, we will now write R Y comma 90. And lastly, we have to translate this by the points 4 comma minus 3 comma 7 this means that we have to translate in x by 4 we have to translate in y by minus 3 and we have to translate in z by 7 so we will write it as translation of 4 comma minus 3 comma 7 and now we will multiply all of this by the p old p old value or p noa value as it is attached to the frame noa so now you must be uh, you must have noticed something that I am writing the uh, order in the opposite manner. That is first for on, on the uh, first I said that we will be doing rotation, but I wrote rotation at uh, of z at last. Then I said that we will be doing rotation of y. Then I wrote rotation of y after z, and then I said that lastly we will do the translation. But whereas I wrote translation at the first part. So this is what you have to keep in mind that whenever we have been given a frame NOA and we have to rotate translate uh, about the Z, Y or any axis that is the X, Y, Z axis then we will write the uh, write them in the opposite manner of their happening. That is suppose if uh, rotation of Z axis is happening first then we will write it at the extreme right and then if rotation about any axis or Y axis is happening the second part then we will write it before that is we will pre-multiply pre-multiply this part uh, before the z-axis rotation then similarly we will take the last part that is the translation and we will write it at the first point so and now we will multiply it in this manner though we have written it in this order now similarly now lastly we will multiply this by p old the value of the position of p old will remain same that is at the last that is at the extreme right now this is the important part to keep in mind that you will write the uh, order of transformations in the opposite manner. So now we will simply write the uh, translation matrices, translation matrix and the rotation matrices in order to find the P new. That is, let me change the color. So first of all we will write the matrix for translation. So for translation we are given that we have to translate about X. Uh, 4 units about y minus 3 units about z 7 units so first of all you will write the homogeneous matrix and remember that a homogeneous matrix is always a 4 cross 4 matrix so now we will write 0 1 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 1 now over here these three points we will write the translations that we have to do that is for x we will write 4 for y we will write minus 3 for z we will write 7 now we will write the rotational matrix for y that is for y we have the rotational matrix as uh, 1 0 0 0 and here we have cos theta and here we have sorry sorry I'll write it again Now for the uh, z part, for the y part we have cos theta that is cos theta 0 sin theta 0 1 0 then we have minus sin theta 0 then we have cos theta and we will simply write 0 0 1 0 1 over here in order to make this as a 4 cross 4 matrix. Now similarly for z we have cos theta minus sin theta sin theta and cos theta 0 0 1 0 0 then we will simply add 0, 0, 0, 1 over here in order to make this as a 4 cross 4 matrix. Now we will simply put the value of theta as 90 
in both of these matrices as it is given in the question so on doing so you will get the value as 1004 this matrix will be written as it is as it is a translation matrix and theta is not to be put over here we have this as 7 then we have 0, 0, 0, 1. now in this matrix we will get 0, 0, 1 as cos theta is 0 and sin 90 is 1 and we will get over here 0, 1, 0 then we have minus 1, 0, 0 and we have 0, 0, 0, 1 and 0, 0, 0 over here also now similarly we will put theta value as 90 over here also and you will get 0, minus 1, 0, 0 1, 0, 0, 0 and 0, 0, 1, 0 and lastly 0, 0, 1 let me check it again you will get 0 minus 1 0 and 1 0 0 and 0 1 0 okay it's perfect that is we have simply put the value of theta as 19 both of these matrices and now we will multiply all of these matrices together and then after multiplying them we will multiply it by p hold so on multiplying all of these matrices you will get the resultant over here and this resultant will be multiplied by p hold that is 7 3 1 and 1 you must be noticing that I have added an extra one over here. This is because we have to make this a 4 cross 1 matrix. As we have a 4 cross 4 matrix here. So in order to get them uh, able to multiply them. We will use a 4 cross 1 matrix. That is why I have added one over here. It won't make any difference. So this is the value which that was given to us. And I have simply written it transpose. And written one at the bottom row. So now on multiplying this result in that you will get from multiplying these three matrices and multiplying the multiplying it by p old you will get your final answer as 5 4 10 and 1 so guys this is your final answer and in the one of my videos i have already discussed that how you you have to find out the number of columns sorry number of rows that you will get and the number of columns that you will get in the resultant matrix so that is i'll explain it again if we have to find out that how many rows you will get in the resultant matrix just look at the rows that you have in the first matrix it will be equal to them and in order to find out the matrix and in order to find out the column that you will have in the final matrix it will be equal to the columns in the second matrix that you will be multiplying so this is it for this video and let me take another question in which there will be a slight change that is in this question everything is same that is we have a point 7 comma 3 comma 1 and we have to rotate we are given the transformations as rotation about the z axis by 90 degrees then we have translation of 4 comma minus 3 comma 7 and then lastly we have a rotation about the y axis by 90 degrees now there is only a slight change in this question as compared to the previous one in this we were we were doing translation at the end whereas now we are going to rotate about the y axis at the end and we will be doing the translational part in between so this is question number two let me change the color so now in this question we will write our matrices as we have to find out p nu so first of all we will write the rotation about z axis just remember what i said earlier that we will write z over here and then we will pre multiply this part on the left of z that is you will get translation of 4 minus 3 and 7 over here then over here you will get rotation about the y axis that is we have written in this order and we will be multiplying it in this order and then the resultant that we will get from this matrix will be multiplied by p old the position of p old will always remain the same irrespective of the number of translations and rotations now we will simply put the values that is for y 90 degree y rotation about the y by 90 degrees we will get the value as 0 0 1 0 0 1 0 0 minus 1 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 now you this is nothing but i have used just this matrix 
that is this matrix I have used for Y as is the standard matrix for Y and this is the standard matrix for Z. I'll write them again below, do not worry. That is this matrix is uh, cos theta 0, sin theta and uh, 0 over here also. Just let me see. Yes, we have 0 over there. 1 0 0 and we have minus sin theta cos theta 0 0 0 1 0 0 and 0 so this is for y now similarly we will write the translation matrix which will which will remain the same as done in the earlier question that is we will simply write 4 minus 3 and 7 over here and just a minute i missed one thing we have 7 over here minus 3 over here and 0, 0, 0, 1 over here. We have to make a 4 cross 4 matrix. Now for Z, we have cos theta minus sin theta, sin theta, cos theta, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0. Then lastly, we have 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, and 0. So over here, you will put theta is equal to 90 as we have already done for Y. That is, if you put theta is equal to 90 in this matrix, you will get this. So on multiplying, sorry, on multiplying, on multiplying these three matrices, you will get your resultant. And this resultant will then be multiplied by the P old value which is given to us. That is 7, 3 and 1. So now there will be a slight change in the answer. That is now the answer will be 8, 4, minus 1, 1. Now you must have noticed, sorry, one will overcome, come over here also as you have to use a 4 cross 1 matrix. So now you will notice that this answer that we got in the second question is quite different from the answer that we got in the previous question. That is previously we got 5, 4, 10 and 1 and uh, in the second part we got 8, 4, minus 1 and 1. These two are uh, completely different though the number of transformations and the type of transformations were same but their order was different so it is an important thing that you would keep in mind if the number of translations and the type of translations are same but if you interchange their order if you interchange their order in any way then the answer that you will get will always be different that is why this is the most crucial part of your answer if you write this part wrong then your whole question will be wrong that is why i have told you the trick that whatever is written at the first whenever it is written in the terms of x y and z write that uh, at the end then write the second part in the middle and write the last part uh, at the first position and the value and the position of p old will remain same so i hope you understood the differences between these two questions and the importance of the order of multiplication of matrices if you jumble up this order then your answer will be completely wrong so i hope you understood it and if you were able to do these both of these questions in one go or if you were able to do it in a second go write wow in the comment section and it will be great to know that you were able to do it so thank you this is it this is it for this video see you in the next one